We get the uh, Fed rate cut decision this afternoon, and the market is not expecting us to see the first rate cut until we get to June, and then it's only about a 60% chance at the moment that we get a quarter of a basis point cut there. What I've got up on the screen here is what the market is expecting when we get all the way out to December, and you can see the market thinks we're definitely getting a cut because there's only a 1% chance that the market's currently giving that we stay where we're at. And it is placing the highest percentage chance, that 35%, that we will be at 4.5 to 4.75. This is going to be very important to pay attention to after we hear what Powell has to say today to figure out whether or not this is going to shift this direction or this direction. And one of the quick ways that we can see exactly what the market is expecting is by paying attention to the 10-year bond. Now, this is a major level. It's 440, and that's what we saw as a topping point two years ago, and that has acted as resistance here so far this year. If we see that 10-year break above that 440 today, that's going to mean the higher probability chance that we're not getting as many rate cuts or it's going to take longer, and that would not bode well for stocks, so we're going to pay close attention here.